Hello everyone, welcome to my videos on elementary differential equation. This is video number 3 for chapter 6 and the topic for the chapter is systems of two linear differential equations. Now we continue our review on matrices. In this video we'll talk about one specific property of a square matrix, that is the eigenvalues and the corresponding eigenvectors. We will um, focus our review on A being a 2x2 two two real matrix. Okay, so a matrix A, we wish to find two quantities. One we call lambda, which is a scalar value, and another we call V, which is a column vector and uh, it's not identically zero. Now let's give a definition of um, the concept of eigenvalue and eigenvector. So we'll have the following. So if the following identity holds, that is A times the V vector equals lambda times the V vector, then this lambda and this V are called the eigenvalue and the eigenvector of A. And in fact, um, this V here, since it's multiplied on the right to the A matrix, is called the right eigenvector. But that's the only one we'll be concerned ourselves with, so let's just call it the eigenvector. Okay. So what this definition says is basically the following. For the matrix A, there are some special vectors such that if you do the product A times V, what you get in the end is a vector pointing in the same direction as this V here, but possibly rescaled with a factor lambda. Okay, so since the lambda and the V are a pair, they associate with each other, we also call this the eigenpair of the A matrix. Now here's an important remark about the eigenvector. So for the eigenvector V here, what is important is its direction. The length of this vector actually doesn't really matter. And we have the following um, property. If V is an eigenvector, then if you multiply V with any scalar number alpha, alpha doesn't equal zero, then it's also an eigenvector. And that can be easily checked. Okay, so let's compute A times the scalar multiple of V. And because of uh, A is a, a scalar, then you can move the A out and put it in front. You can um, compute capital A times V first and then multiply the vector with alpha. And now since V is a eigenvector for A, so A times V is exactly lambda times v. Okay, and then we get that. And then we can switch the order alpha and lambda, they are both scalar numbers, and then we can do the alpha times v um, first, and then you get a vector, and then you perform the um, scalar multiple of lambda after that. And then if you look at this relation and that relation, it exactly says that and this one is the eigenvector, and lambda is the eigenvalue. Okay, so how do we find um, the eigenvalue and the eigenvector for a given matrix? Okay, so let's start with the definition. The definition says A times V equals lambda V. And so now we move the lambda to the lambda V to the left hand side, and we have this. And then we see that here you have lambda times V, which is the same as if you put a identity matrix in between. So you have lambda times identity matrix times V is the same as lambda times V because identity matrix times a vector does not change the vector. And then once you have that, then we can um, use the associative property. We can take the V bar on the right outside and then what you have remain is a minus lambda times i okay times v equal zero vector 
So what this um, telling us is that um, for a given lambda, this matrix times a non-zero vector will give you a zero vector. So we know that um, if this matrix is non-singular, then this cannot happen. Then that can only happen for v equals zero. Okay, therefore we must conclude that this matrix here, A minus lambda i, must be a singular matrix. And the property of the singular matrix is that the determinant is zero. Then we have that. So here we see that we get the determinant of A minus lambda i equals zero, where the only unknown here is the eigenvalue. Okay, and then this becomes an equation for us to solve, to find eigenvalues. In the special case where A is a 2 by 2 matrix, then we know that this left hand side here, the determinant of A minus lambda i in the end, is a polynomial of degree 2 in lambda. And then we can solve to find the roots of this polynomial. Okay, so since this polynomial is very important for the A matrix, it is also called the characteristic polynomial of A. Okay, so now from this discussion we see that and we need to find the roots of this polynomial to obtain the eigenvalues of A. Let's take an example. Our first example is um, the following. We want to find the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of A. A is this matrix, 2 by 2, 1, 1, 4, 1. Okay, now let's first find the eigenvalues. So we need to find the um, characteristic polynomial, that is, the determinant of A minus lambda i. Okay, okay so let's write out this matrix. So what is this matrix? That is the matrix A minus a di diagonal matrix which has lambda on the diagonal, which means starting from the A matrix, all the diagonal terms will be subtracted by the amount lambda. Okay, therefore we get 1 minus lambda, 1 minus lambda on the diagonal, and then copy the 4 and 1 down. So we want to compute the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix which um, um, has a simple um, expression that is the product of these two diagonal minus the product of these two diagonal. So therefore it's 1 minus lambda square minus 4 and equals 0. So we see that um, this is a polynomial of degree 2 in lambda and in general one can find two zeros. Okay, so this is an easier uh, task. Um, we are familiar with that and we'll find the two lambda. One is negative one and the other is three. We call the first one lambda one, the second one lambda two. Okay, so we have found two eigenvalues and for each of them there is an associated eigenvector. So let's start with lambda one, which is minus one, and we try to find the eigenvector. Let's call it v1. Okay, let's write out the component. Let's say v1 has component a, b. It's a column vector, so I have a transpose here. Okay, and then we will use the um, equation that is a times a minus lambda 1 identity, this matrix, times v1 shall be 0. Okay, so let's put in the a matrix here, 1, 1, 4, 1, and then let's subtract lambda 1 from the diagonal, so minus negative 1, minus negative 1, and then the v vector is a, b, and that shall equal to 0, 0 on the right hand side. Okay, let's work out these numbers, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 1 is 2, so I get 2, 1, 4, 2 times this matrix times the vector AB equals 0. So we see that um, this equation here written in a matrix vector form, in the end 
and it represents two equations for the two unknowns a and b. Okay, we can write out the first equation that is this vector prod in the product this one equals zero. So two times a plus one times b is zero. And then it seems like there's another equation that is this vector in a product that is zero and that will give us four times a plus two times b equals zero. And then you see that um, that equation is equivalent to this one except you multiply this equation by two on both sides then you get a four and a two here which is exactly the second equation. So in the end this actually gives us only one equation for a b. Okay so this actually fits very well with our discussion that eigenvectors what's important in it is the direction okay the length um, it doesn't matter so um, there's one degree of freedom there okay so which means here this equation must be satisfied and then we can choose any a b value that satisfy this equation to form this vector so we can choose for example a equal one if you do that and then you see b is negative two and then you have an eigenvector okay so of course you can choose um different values let's say if you choose b is one then a is negative half and that's also an eigenvector you see that they will point in the same direction but with a different um, scaling okay now let's compute the eigenvector for lambda 2 which is 3 so we call this v2 and we give it the components c and d so we wish to find c and d Okay, so again we go to the equation A minus lambda 2 times identity, this matrix times V2 equal 0. Okay, now since lambda 2 is 3, then we will subtract 3 on the diagonal of the A matrix and write this out. So V2 is CD and the right hand side is 0, 0. Okay, so we can work out the numbers. one minus 3 is negative 2, 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So we get negative 2, 1, and the 4, negative 2. And then this matrix times CD equal 0. Okay. So um, from our experience with the first eigenvalue, now we're expecting that if we write this out, we actually have just one equation. And that can actually be easily spotted by also looking at these two row vectors. So this vector, negative 2, 1, and this vector, 4, and negative 2. One can see that um, they are just scalar multiples of each other. In fact, if you take the first vector and multiply it with negative 2, you get exactly 4, negative 2. So therefore, in the end, actually, you get just one equation because the two equations will be equivalent. Okay, then we can write out the equation. We'll have negative 2 times c plus d equals 0, which is here. And then we can choose, um, let's say, we can just choose c to be 1. You can choose any, any value, okay? And then in that case, d is 2. Okay, and then um, you can easily write out now the eigenvector for the second eigenvalue lambda 2 and um, which is 1 2 for our choice of uh, the constant so again I comment that and this is not a unique eigenvector and all vectors pointing in the same direction is also an eigenvector this is just one of them okay so okay so um, that is the first example we take for finding um, eigenvalues and eigenvectors and in this case we have two real eigenvalues which are distinct okay and that is the first case and in the next video we'll look at other more complicated cases such as complex eigenvalues and so on and so forth so so that's all I want to say for this video I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time